Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is June 8th, 2024 and Barcelona will have to sell a center back or even more during this summer transfer market. Also, Bayern München will undergo a big transformation of their team, a big revolution and cleanup of their locker room. And as such, Barcelona are currently on the lookout to see what can come out of this. And finally, Wesley Schneider has criticized Frankie de Jong. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the kit bag and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you head to bet us both links for kit bag and bet us are down below in the description. Now, I'll begin with the news that Barcelona will have to sell at least one center back, maybe even more, during the summer transfer market. And the question is who it will be. Now, Barcelona need to sell players this summer transfer market in order to generate liquidity because, as I've explained in many previous videos, Yes, if Barcelona do close the Nike deal and get that 100 million euro signing bonus, then they would cover the deficit in their budget and it would allow them to reach the one-to-one -one rule, which would allow the club to sign freely in the summer. However, Barcelona still have a liquidity problem where the club does not have cash. So even if they reach the one-to-one -one rule, they still need cash to sign other players. And as such, Barcelona will be forced to sell players this summer to sign new ones. And the center back position will be one of those because Barcelona currently have a surplus of center backs. So the club will have to sell at least one, maybe two, maybe even more in order to generate liquidity and in order to relieve the wage bill. Now Barcelona will currently has eight center backs for the first team. They have Araujo, Cuarci, Kunde, Christensen, Inigo Martinez, Lingle, and Eric Garcia who will be coming back from loan and the eighth one is of course Mika Fai whose agent is insisting that they want a first team spot or they're gonna end up leaving the club so the question is gonna be who out of these eight Barcelona will have to sell this summer now the first player is of course Ronald Araujo who is Hansi Flick's bet Hansi Flick wants Ronald Araujo to stay on the team he considers him a fundamental piece or a corner piece of his project so Araujo uh, will have to stay according to Flick but of course Araujo has been linked with an exit out of the club because he was not too happy under Xabi especially after that list of transferables was leaked and Araujo's picture had a question mark right next to it and most likely if Xabi had continued at the club then Araujo would have probably left but now that Hansi Flick is a new coach We'll have to see whether Flick convinces Ronald Araujo to stay or whether Araujo will insist on leaving somewhere else. Now, there is also the matter, of course, of Pau Cuarci, who Barcelona has just renewed until 2027. He, of course, is absolutely untouchable. There is no plans for Barcelona to offload him. So this will be completely out of the question and Cuarci will not be one of the players who will be offloaded and then in third place of course or the third defender not in third place but the third defender is that of Jules Kunde who could be used in that kind of like Pavard position where Pavard in Bayern Munich under Flick was a center back who was played a lot as a right back of course Kunde has been played a lot as a right back this season or the whole season and it's most likely that Hansi Flick will continue to use him in that position we'll see Maybe he'll be a right back. Maybe he'll go back to being a center back. We'll have to see. And we'll also have to see whether the club would be willing to sell the French player. I doubt it because right now he doesn't have any offers except from Saudi. And I don't see Kunde wanting to go to Saudi Arabia. Plus, of course, Kunde did cost the club 60 million euros. So his uh, transfer is still not amortized. So selling him will definitely be difficult. Now, there is Andreas Christensen who is a very versatile defender, a very solid defender, someone who's played in the pivot position 
and has done a pretty decent job throughout the season of course he did arrive for free he could be sold for around 40 to 50 million euros and it would all be pure profit since he arrived free but of course Christensen would prefer to stay at the club however he did say that um, if Barcelona tell him that they need to sell him to generate funds he would not cause any problems and he would leave but he would prefer to stay at the club and we'll see what Hansi Flick will think of the Danish defender and whether he will want to keep him or will want to sell him. Then there is Inigo Martinez, of course, um, the 32-year-old defender that Barcelona signed for two seasons. He is described as someone who is a natural leader on the defensive line, someone who's a leader both inside and outside of the locker room, a player that gives you plenty of experience and plenty of solidity in the back line, something that no other defender currently can give you. Not as much the solidity, of course, but as far as his experience and his leadership, because our rest of our defenders are much, much younger, and Inyo Martinez gives you that experience that no other defender gives you. We'll see whether Hansi Flick will want to keep him whether he will want to sell him and then there is Eric Garcia who will be coming back from loan uh, from Girona of course Eric Garcia would like to fight for his spot on the first team but most likely he will be end up uh, end up being sold and he does have at least the option of Girona where Girona do want him they count on him they they're willing to pay the money for him and Eric Garcia would not mind to be in transfer to Girona even though he would prefer to stay in Barcelona now another defender who will be coming back is Clement Lenglet who Barcelona don't count on him but as opposed to Eric Garcia who has the Girona option Clement Lenglet does not have any other options because no other clubs out there are currently interested in him he does have some offers from Saudi Arabia but he has rejected all of them he still wants to play in Europe so Lenglet will definitely be a problem as far as where can Barcelona offload him. And of course, the last one is Mika Fai, who is Deco's bet. He was Deco signing. Deco wants to see Mika Fai on the first team. In fact, it's reported that Deco was upset with that Xavi Hernandez did not give him any minutes. And of course, there is Mika Fai's agent who's insisting you either give the player a first spot, uh, first team spot, or we're gonna leave. Of course, Mika Fai does have plenty of offers from many many teams willing to pay upwards of 15 20 million euros we'll see whether Mika Fai ends up uh, deciding to be patient and earn his spa or whether he insists on leaving because if he does then Barcelona could end up selling him now these are the eight defenders that Barcelona will have to carefully study and decide who they're gonna sell I am curious to hear what do you guys think which out of these eight defenders would you sell let me know down below now speaking of selling and buyer and buying players let's talk about Bayern Munich because the Bundesliga club are set to do a complete overhaul of their team and as such they will be putting on the market players who last season were considered absolutely untouchable and this summer they will not be now, the players we're talking about are players like Joshua Kimmich, Coman, De Ligt, Goretzka, Masrawi, players who were core, core for the Bundesliga club, who were considered absolutely untouchable. But given the revolution that this team is set to undergo, it's reported that under Vincent Company, any of these players, if Bayern Munich receive a good offer for, they will be sold. And as such, Barcelona are reportedly monitoring the situation closely to see whether they can end up with a signing. Of course, more specifically, it's gonna be Joshua Kimmich, but who knows, maybe Barcelona could end up being interested in many of these other names that I just mentioned. Now, the last bit of news that we're gonna talk about is about Frankie de Jong, because the former Dutch player or the Dutch legend, Wesley Snyder, has criticized his Dutch counterpart. Now, this is what Wesley Snyder did I say Snipes? Wesley Schneider. <laughs> I'm thinking about the actor, but this is what Wesley Schneider had to say about Frankie. He said, Frankie hasn't been consistent enough in recent years. He had a fantastic year at Ajax, which earned him a very nice transfer. If you look at the last few seasons, Frankie has also been injured very often, and that devours you. So strong words by Wesley Schneider, who, by the way, is not the first one to come out and criticize Frankie Young in public. 
We also had uh, most recently Ruud Gullit. I think that's how you say his name, the Ballon d'Or winner. He's also Dutch. He also harshly criticized Frankie de Jong out in the press. So it looks like Frankie de Jong is getting a lot of heat from his uh, you know, Dutch colleagues, if you want to call it that. And I got to say, I don't like when players talk crap about other players in the media. I think if you perhaps think this uh, another player is not doing as well, I think a better way to handle it is, you know, call the player directly, say, hey, uh, you know, I don't like what you're doing. Maybe this is how you should improve. I don't like it when they criticize each other in public. But anyways, it's neither here or there. But I do have to say, I do agree with Wesley Schneider. I think Frankie Young has not been consistent. He's not lived up to the hype that we all thought he was going to be. He's never been that Frank, uh, Ajax Frankie here at Barcelona. And this is why most recently I've changed kind of my opinion on him. Where last season I used to say, absolutely not. Frankie should not be sold. But now, given his inconsistency, given this whole season he has spent injured, and given that he is the highest earner on the team, now I'm more in favor of selling Frankie. I think a bet that would be a better solution. You can get 80, 90 million for him, which is a lot of money for the club right now. And you can get rid of the biggest salary on your wage bill. But again, I am always curious to hear what you guys think. Should Barcelona sell Frankie de Jong? Yes, no, tell me why down below anyways that is all for this video thank you for tuning in don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment and as always peace cabarsa